everybody, Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. I have an unboxing to share with you. Phoebe actually decided to join us, but she's not coming on camera. She brought me her toy, which means she wants me to throw it. She's so funny. She's so little, but she likes to catch her toy in her mouth when I throw it. Oh, these are pretty. There's a couple in here, I think. No, one. Just one. There's the canvas, the drills, and a kit. And that's everything you should have. When you buy these kits, you should have everything you need to get started. The only other thing I would suggest you go get is something to organize your drills. I'm trying to see if I have one close by to show you, but of course I don't. Um, they make those little kits, or you can use the bags. Yeah, this, they gave a couple bags. So this is a nice white boat with a funnel which helps you put it back in the bag. Pink wax, a little chunk of pink wax, and that goes into the tip of the drill pen. We just got a single drill pen with this. And some tweezers. Some people really like to use the tweezers instead of the pen. And they give you a couple little tiny Ziploc bags to put your drills into. Now the first thing you wanna do is take the inventory of all your drills. So here's the inventory sheet that came with the kit. Now this one is a cute little watercolor penguin. Now I got this um, for my friend Cindy who had diabetes and passed away when she was 28. Quite a few years ago she was my best friend, but she loved penguins. So let's take a look here. This has 38 different colors. And if you look at the inventory sheet, it numbers all the colors. It gives the symbol that is on the diamond painting. And the, it says drill number, but that's the DMC number. They use the same DMC codes as embroidery floss and the number of packages in here so that's going to make the inventory very easy for me so i'm not going to do it now because i think that's boring for everybody to sit there and watch me count on a video i will do that later and i will put the information into the description of the diamond painting now this one was not only in a plastic bag to protect it, but it was rolled around this foam core, which always makes me happy because you don't get too much damage in the foam core. And if you look at this, you'll see it's a, little, it's a little wrinkly, especially as I unroll it. This paper that's on top of the canvas protecting it. Um wrinkles up when you try to straighten it. And so we peel up the paper. All right, now it's, it's the adhesive. I can feel the adhesive coming up with the paper. So I just give it a little rub. Just rub your finger over it very gently. Try it again and look, there it peels up. Now this is very sticky. That is the adhesive. If you start to peel up the adhesive, stop what you're doing. Press it down and just rub it for a minute. Or you can go to a different corner. I peel up all four corners and then I press it back down. That's it. It's okay. Don't be scared to peel up the paper. This is a 30 by 40 full drill 
round. Um, the 30 by 40 is centimeters. That is the size of the canvas. It's 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters. Full drill means that the entire picture is going to be covered with the little drill. Some people call them drills. Some people call them diamonds. Some people call them gems. You can call them whatever you want. They're little plastic dots. Bibi, what are you doing? She's, uh, she's barking at the neighborhood dog. All right, so let me show the image. Now, if you're saying, Nancy, why are you giving all this information? I know that. Yes, I know, but some people are new. We get new people all the time. Look at this. That's beautiful. I love, I love oh, baby. Someday she's going to bark like that, and there's going to be a video of me clutching my heart and falling down on the bed. She just scares me to death when she does that. Okay, I'm just pressing it back down. You're not going to lose all the sticky if you peel this up. All it does is release the canvas so it lays flat. So, if you look at the canvas closely, you'll see it's covered with little symbols. And each symbol corresponds to a different color. So it's just like counted cross stitch, if you've done that, or color by numbers, where I find the that symbol, I find it on the key, I pull out that color, and I use the pen, and I like the pen, I'm not a big tweezer girl, and, and pick up that color diamond and press it onto the canvas. And if it's not in the right place, you just move it around to where it needs to be. Simple, and when you're done, you have a full picture now there's full drill like this. There's partials where it's printed on the canvas, uh, an image, and you only, you may put drills on the flower or the bird or, or the hummingbird or something like that. There's, there's a bird outside, huh? That's what I get for looking out the window. So there it is. I like this one a lot. I like the image. This one, like I said, is in memory of my friend Cindy. Um, it's it's going to make me think of her every time. Every time I see a penguin, I think of her. And um, that's it. If you have any questions, you can always email me at fancy nancy diamond painting at gmail.com you like my videos take a minute and subscribe and you will if you uh, tap on that little bell you'll be notified when my new videos come out and you have a great day thank you so much for joining me take care bye bye